Hi, this is Danny. I've recently become aware of how to connect my inverter directly to my LiFo 4 battery safely. Um, so what we're going to do in this video, behind me on my bench, we're going to explore um, how we can connect our inverter directly to the battery using BMS input and using a separate low voltage disconnect and a standard relay module that is fairly low cost. All of this can be purchased for about under $20 on Amazon and AliExpress. So I hope I piqued your interest and you'll continue watching. So this video is about how do we hook up a uh, inverter, uh, like say a 2000 watt, 1500 watt inverter, uh, when we're using these um, low cost um, BMS. I have this um, JBD Tools BMS from that I got from AliExpress and um, it's like 80 or 100 I think it's 80 amps so anyway you can't run these things at 80 amps and when you want to hook a 2000 watt inverter up it's not going to work very well however this BMS does monitor my cells at the cell level pack level custom it's really nice um, originally I thought I could use a Victron Smart Battery Protect to um, to uh, just switch on this um, this uh, on this inverter, and I would be able to hook the inverter directly up to the battery, but that d doesn't work because Victron doesn't permit that kind of uh, uh, connection. It uh, says it's going to damage the smart battery protect. So the other option is I can still connect the inverter directly to the battery instead I'm going to have a relay that um, switches the um, the on off switch um, for the inverter uh, off so um, and the other thing that I have found is I found a very low cost um, uh, low voltage module Low voltage, di disc low voltage disconnect module on um, AliExpress. So it's going to be about three bucks for this thing. I've done another video on it um, here, and um, you know I think that this is going to work pretty well. I already have the system set up right now. I know that Will has also done a video, a very good video, on um, this where he's used a relay that uh, access the on off switch to to this inverter. So I know that um, works. So that approach seems to be pretty good. Um, so Electrodocus is a is another um, BMS type. Um, it's a, it's a great BMS, and uh, he also recommends just turning the devices off, much like um, Will has done here. Uh, so um, I think uh, maybe there are cases that you do want to run uh, and and turn off. You want to run devices directly connected to your battery, and you do want to turn off at the bus level something. But I think a lot can be done just turning off the individual devices via their power switch or some kind of switch on on the device. So I'll briefly show you my setup. Uh, so I, uh, if you all saw Will's video, he um, went through where he customized his um, existing inverter and uh, put some wires hooked it to uh, uh, the switch and and basically came up with a remote so this is a remote wire that um, that uh, will allow me to um, operate um, this from a relay so I can I have an automatic switch that's going to be able to control um, turning this inverter on and off. Uh, most, m the mostly, what I'll want to do is turn it off, right? If if uh, if it if I get low voltage or my cells get out of whack, um, and so I want to be able to turn this off with a BMS. I want to be able to turn it off um, on low voltage disconnect. Um, uh, so those those are the two things. And um, so let's just go over here. Um, so you, here's the, the lines that run to the relays. Okay, 
and then we come to a switch here. Well, this switch might be in the cabin, right? So I'm going to flip this switch if I just want to turn it off, you know, just because I don't want it. I just don't want the current load on it. So I've got a switch there that does that. Okay. Um, so that's fairly straightforward. I'm using a breadboard here to lay everything out. Um, what I have here is this this low voltage disconnect module um, and basically it just um, gets power and voltage sense over here power and voltage sense and connects to the module that's where these wires connect to and then it has a wire here that um, when it senses low voltage it's going to um, trip this relay module here so this relay module it's a four relay mount module and we could use this for all different things we could ca cascade under certain conditions if for instance it was freezing or something and we wanted to take some action with one of these relays we could we could do it if all we have to do is put uh, an input that you know a freezing input into uh, into one of these um, in one of these inputs and it would m take action um, could be even a forecast I guess we could just plug in there and all we have to do is to find the action and th those actions can be cascaded and these relays are um, 30 volts uh, 10 amps um, and it turns out that um, I did another video um, but my um, my inverter um, it, it it's just very low uh, amperage coming through these wires. I do protect them because um, there, there's a, a 12 volts here. And then if, if I accidentally, um, like I'm doing here, if I accidentally shorted the 12 volts somewhere, it'd be, it, it wouldn't be good. So, um, so what I have then is I have the, the, this output going to my inverter. And the input is from this module right here. Uh, okay, so what feeds what feeds all the power? Okay, so this right here, this wire here is the P minus from my BMS. This right here is from my LiPo battery. Okay, um, so and I do have an alarm that I've rigged here that is a warning light that. Um, when I get to low, when I get the low voltage condition, the light will go on. I could also um, turn on a, um, you know, any sort of a buzzer or something like that. Okay, so let's take a look at um, what I have here. I got a voltmeter that is um, monitoring the voltage from my LiPo battery, and um, here is <laughs> there's my lipo battery right there otherwise known as a bench lab a bench uh, supply so i'm drawing right now 0.2 amps um which is uh you know it's a combination of um what i'm uh the the inverter running idle and and plus my um my my uh relays right here this relay module and then um this this module is going to take uh, very little Amp. Let's simulate the case of the um, BMS, okay, the BMS going bad. So um, I'm going to just um, take this, this connection right here and disconnect it. All right, when I disconnect the BMS, everything goes. Okay, now we're going to cover the case of the low voltage disconnect. Um, there's two pins. There's a high voltage uh, input and there's a low voltage input to the relay. Um, right now I've just configured the uh, low voltage input and uh, I think it's around 12.6 that I'm going to take it down to. So I'm going to spin the wheel on this thing. Let's see if we can't spin it down. Okay, so we're at 12.5 now and um, the um, the inverter just shut off this this connection here, um, so the relay um, just shut off. And then I've wired something in the breadboard to to have this alarm light go on. So um, just parenthetically, um, 
the way this switch works, and I've done another video on uh, how the switch works, you could override at this point the um, inverter, but we're not going to do that. Okay, so um, it's at 12.5. Um, if we dial it up to say 12.8, I'm using the fine adjustment. Let's see, 13. Let's see, this still reads 12.9. 12, 12 okay, 12.84. Boy, it's pretty accurate. Okay. Oh, well, it just popped. Okay, so as you can see the relay line on that thing. Um, you, um, you can see that the light is extinguished on this. And um, the inverter is going now. I wanted just to say one thing. I just I just ordered a 12 volt version of this. This is a 5 volt version here that I have um, and that's why you see this kind of 5 volt power supply. I'm going to replace that with a with the um, with a um, another uh, 12 volt version of this. It'll make it a little so simpler. Now we'll measure the um, current draw of this device here. Um, we're running um, uh, about uh, 12 milliamps and um, now and that's in uh, recovered mode now I'll go to low voltage and uh, we're running a little over so let's just call it 15 milliamps so what what we're doing is we're running um, so now we've added you know let's just call it um, you know 15 milliamps roughly um, it's roughly 0 0.2 watts um, so we got 0 0.6 watts basically that um, this plus uh, this runs. Uh, and so what's that in amps? I calculated it out. It's, 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 it's about 0.1 amp that we're going to, that, that of overhead that we're going to have for this, for this monitoring, which I think is um, fairly reasonable. For waterproofing, I think Great Scott the YouTuber has done a great video on the use of this clear nail acrylic to um, coat coat these circuit boards. And then uh, also, I think they have waterproof packaging you can put these circuit boards in. I think the question might also be, could you use the Victron Smart Battery Protect to, to do the same sort of thing that we're doing here, as long as you used a inverter with a shutoff switch and I think the answer is yes but that's a topic for another video